So, um, I know I've done, uh, uh, maybe I've done an article, but I can't remember. But, uh, I've done a, a lot of posts concerning this, what you're looking at on the screen. And, um, probably a video, but maybe not like, uh, treated it as a subject on a video on my YouTube channel, but I probably must have mentioned it, uh, one or two of the videos I've published. So, I want to discuss that, uh, subject on, uh, on uh, my YouTube, this YouTube channel. So, women are notorious for this. Uh, however, as you can see on the screen, it's actually a man not doing this particular one. So, um, I mean, when all you need to look at the screen, you can tell something is wrong. You know, I don't need to tell you what exactly it is. It's very different. It's just look at it, you can see. It's not just wrong, but it's kind of very dangerous. You know, um, I remember a few times I was teaching. Oh, I think that I thought uh, people want to drive. Uh, I mean, how many women? Two? Two women. And those times I was very awful I, and I will never <laughs> want to do that ever again. Um, even to a man said, I don't know, I don't think I want to do it. Uh, I would rather have the money, I will Hey, give you, take it to family school, pay somebody and set in tissue after that. I'm not going to do that. Now, those women, those two women, man, it took me, I mean, I, I basically was trying to I encourage them to sit properly while driving, but it didn't matter what I tell them. Even when I ask them, hey, relax, just all your seat back, the last and everything, and uh, it's okay. Help me put the seat back the way you think it will be comfortable. It's okay. Just sit on the seat, and then you sit and then put the seat I just adjust, adjust on the seat. Okay, this should be the Oh, man. the moment the car goes into motion, uh, it, it will come back like that. Even though the seat, <laughs> they will put their chest just on the No, actually, three women, not one. Not two. Yeah, three women I remember. The last woman that uh the last woman I thought how to do was here in Abuja. Oh my own I'll doing my NYC. So they pull their chest. I remember one it was so bad that basically her breast was rubbing on the steering wheel. It's as if the, the breast was what was uh, holding the steering wheel from spinning or turning the eye it was just not with the door. This is very dangerous for uh, quite a lot of reasons. I mean, it's not for your own, for your own uh, uh, body. Very dangerous. Men do this thing too, so don't get me wrong. But most times, in fact, you could say very few men, but majority, it's hard to see a woman relax sitting in normal position behind the steering wheel. It could tell you more, ninety percent, maybe more. But definitely more than 70% of women miss out a seat. It might not be as bad as this guy uh, looking on the screen. He's sitting, but I mean, try, uh, see, go and do the observation. Uh, I'm not telling you what you cannot observe yourself. Go out there and you see, pay attention as women cars are driving. Look and see who is behind the wheel of a if it's a woman, in fact, it doesn't matter who is who. Just who is behind. Uh, okay, yeah, it matters who is behind the wheel. Is it holding on to, rushing on to the wheel like something is about to run off for him or her? Is it sitting very close, pushing her chest very close to the channel wheel, trying to see the bumper, front bumper, or is it a little bit last? Just do the observation, then from there. Okay, out of all the ones I saw. Uh, women that were driving like this are uh, 50 out of the 100 cars that passed. Of uh, the men who were driving, we are also sitting like this, maybe 50 as well. 
out of order. Just do it there, then come back and give us the number on the comment section. I mean, it's not good because uh, number one, it puts you on necessary uh, pressure. You're not supposed to revive it as it is a schedule, so work you need to do. So, because you know how the, you can be relaxed like this. It's as if something bad is that you are trying to prevent something bad from happening. So, you are so nervous. You know, hey, I want to make sure I'm seeing the headlights. You are not even talking about the ball. Put the headlight and the water. I want to be seeing everything. No, you don't need that. You don't need to see the front of your car. You don't. What you need to see is the tail of a car behind you, you, that is before you. If there is no car before you, you see like uh, I don't know how many meters before you. You just are driving at night. You put on your head like you're doing light. You just see just few steps before you and then go for the best. That is for night journeys, night drive. In that time, you can see afar. Don't need your head light to see afar. So, what that happens is fine. When you see afar, you look like two a pole before you. Let's assume there's no car in front of you at all. Maybe you are traveling, you can see a pull or two before you. So, in that case, you don't need to see again because for, by looking at uh, like one pull before you, the distance, you tell there's a whole, uh, gallop, there's a portal, uh, something in the, on the road or something. You know, whatever it is, so you'll be able to, you already know what to do before you get to that place. So, you shouldn't be looking at the right there in front of your eyes. So I don't see what you are trying to see by getting too close, putting your steps so test up. It's not good for your health. That's number one. Number two is when you get so close, especially you pull your chest very close to the steering wheel. When acid, if accident not well, if accident happens and the airbag deploys, your church is no distance at all, so it's very close to it. So that force as the airbag is deploying, it's as if you're pressing your chest on the steering wheel. So, him, I'm not even giving it any gaps. So the point at this, your hand may even prevent it a little before you get to your chest. Or reduce the speed is coming. This one is like straight to your chest. That is going to knock you out. And what I mean knock you out, I mean it will end you right there. Even if your car, nothing happens to your car, just because there's an impact, you put your car out and deploy the airbag. That's enough to kaboom and you are gone. For good. The second thing is now depending on how serious the impact is. It is there are some accidents, some impact that we hit. The power will come to the engine bay, hit the engine, push the engine back. The engine as it's going back, engine will shift the uh the cross member where the steering rack is sitting. And what that will happen is as you shift the steering engine as you change that the gearbox press on the steering rack or uh, push back the uh bus member, it will shift the steering uh, uh column and the steering wheel backward. Yeah, the steering will pull back, come back. Like I said, depending on the impact, the force. Now look at this. If, if for whatever reason that kind of impact happens and this tear shifts back a little, of course, you know it's going to hit his chest. I don't know how you survive it. It's going to hit the chest. No gap. This is not even about airbag anymore. Because it will make it worse. 
look at the seat. He has no space at all. As if it's just, the, the, this will just press and hold you and just squeeze your chest on the seat. Because the seat is dead. It not, can't go back. As in, not man, this is the worst thing you can ever do to yourself. So say, I better be, be careful for uh, Means you are still a kid, you don't know what the driving is. Because sometimes it might not even be the cause of the accident. Somebody else from one stupid place could just come and kaboom. That's Look at it. Look at Oh, my saying, look at this chair. Look at the silent wheel. The bottom part of the silent wheel is almost touching the belly. Look at It's almost touching the belly. The stomach. It's touching it uh, basically. How do you even turn the steering wheel in, in this condition? How comfortable? Look at your hand is like this, man. Look at how it is. So, how will you even turn it? Man, gosh, why do you people put yourself in this kind of. In fact, if I drive like this for like 10 minutes, the whole body will be so painful that I will want to drive it in the next 5 7 days. Look at how it's like this. So how you be turning the steering wheel? Because I know how you do it like this. When you're, you you the, the steering is almost here, yeah? you do you so you turn with the steering or what? Gosh, that is very dangerous. I know probably he did this thing maybe to show people how bad it is. Maybe it's not actually how it drives. Just wanted to oh, it's possible this is actually how it drives. Somebody that was not it. Because I've seen men that drive like this. The point is. Most women, if not majority, this side of time. It may not be as bad as it but they just keep shifting their seat, coming closer, coming closer, coming closer, coming closer. Come on, this is not how you drive. You're supposed to be relaxed. Put the seat back. This is what I just did before. Pull it, as I pull the seat, put your left uh, hand on the steering wheel. Keep put the seat back until you get the point. It doesn't don't let it get too straight. And cough. Put the silent wheel, let it cough the this a little. The reason why you need to let it cough. Not see the main thing is in this one. Not necessarily the, the, the side of the seat. Put the back, but you can also push it back because if you put this one too forward, and especially if it's more like I said, this one is mama. You won't even, for example, how will you even be able to lift your leg when there is no space under the steering wheel for your leg? You will lift properly, press on the touch and the rest. It means your legs are will be uh, uh, staying comfortable. And so between 30 minutes of drive, you start both your legs start pinning you, including your hands, the way you stay. So shift it back a little. To be as comfortable as possible. Like for this one, it doesn't mean this one has to go back like as if he has uh, lying down on the seat. The shift it back the time that it is this your hand. Stretch it. No, don't need to stretch it, but as it's going back, once you get the point, it's curved like this. I will now know is you'll be able to turn the channel like this. If it does, that's not how you try it. That's why you can get the proper position. You have to turn the CRA like this. Since you can do it like this. <laughs> you have to search it so that this hand, that does, your hand will be caught a little. If it's caught, it means the only thing moving from here to here, basically. So it won't be, there won't be any much pressure, there won't be any pain or anything. If I, well, sorry, you can still use your two hands to, to squeeze, but as you can see, this body is staying in one place. It's only your two hands that are moving. So you can also easily turn it fully. Or like when it's like this. You can you can only be doing like this. Small, small. Or you go even if you go like this, you can't see you have to turn it fully if you are like this. You, can, you know. So I mean but the most important thing is how to properly adjust turn it to the point that um, your hand is kind of give a little bit uh, 
cough about a little a lost threat. If it's too stressed, you'll be struggling to turn the wheel. In other words, it's time you want to turn the wheel. You see, you are pu pu pulling yourself out of the seat. But you need to place your, your, your body on the seat. As you stretching, adjust the seat to the point that you can do this. Then your leg too. Let you go back to the point that you can lift both your legs uh, without them hitting or uh, below the steering wheel. So you can be able to uh, uh, touch the, the pedals and for, uh, you know, comfortably. But it's very dangerous. This can kill you if any small thing happens. This, you just go and squeeze your chest, everything there, your lungs, everything green. So you can't survive in, an, in a, a very big accident. You can't survive. When you give that gap, it means if the airbag deployed, remember there will not be more space. Like this is supposed to be almost close to where this, uh, this thing is. It's only cool that you can say most times uh, the the seat belt position will be uh, a little bit behind the seat because it's usually cool, it has a long front uh, room. So, uh, but saloon, no, your seat should be closer here. Be closer to this pillar. So, meaning that this thing can't go beyond, ah, yes, it will just shift and stop here. But then your seat is still here, so there is still big gap between the steering wheel and your chest. So, yeah, the airbag will deploy, but then, you know, um, remember your hand is like this, so it will do it to hit your hand, push your hand back or stuff like that, so it won't really hit direct. It won't get direct. Remember your hand is like this. So it won't hit directly to your chest like that. Your hand will have to stop, reduce the, the, the force before it gets to your body, the rest of the body. But like this, may stretch. There's not a piece. Remember, you're like this now. So it's coming direct. But it's not even the airbag that matter. It's just this is pure mechanical. The ceiling wheel is for all the iron, so it's nothing can stop it from keep going back. So your body will even stop. You just keep pressing your chest until you squeeze it completely and stop probably on the seat. So you are gone right there. A lot uh, like from there to motion, nothing else can be said. So that's why I tell people, ah, this is for your own good, not for me. Adjust your seat. Don't need to see your front way. I was say, I thought I'd done the video for this. When you are driving, I even get always make sure whether you are in traffic or on the road going. In fact, on highway, it's supposed to even give more distance. But if you are in the city, always make sure, or even in traffic. In fact, I always say in the traffic. <coughs> I must make sure I can see the rear tires of the car and behind. I must see the rear tires. So if I'm too close, I'm not seeing the, the tires on the rear of the car behind me. I means I'm too close. So no matter how heavy the traffic is, I don't do that bumper to bumper drive. I must give that gap. There will be a lot gap between the car and it's so that anything can happen. Sometimes the car might there are many cases that happen. I think I've talked about it. We had somebody who was mistaken. Some people who are very stupid don't know, actually know. You, know, you say that they don't know how to drive or not. Maybe there's a, something, there's a traffic or something, or something happened in front. They just put it in the bus. They will even look to know if there's any car behind it. You know, drive. In fast, then put our mother. But instead of the, So even if the person is very stupid, that gap you get by the time. It will come too close to hit you if it's reversing without checking to know if there's a car. You can use your horn to stop you, blow your horn very far. But if you're too close and your bumper is just like one, one, if this, the, the distance is just like between this thing, you know, by the finger, that's the distance between the two. As it's putting the reverse, boom, it's hitting you, so you can't even stop the vehicle. You just smash your bumper, your bonnet, your front wheel, everything. So that's why I keep that gap. So in terms of that, we try to be able to prevent it from getting to you that fast.
So you don't, that's why in that case you don't need to because most people do it because say they need to come very close so I'll be able to see when they are getting very close to the car before uh, be, before them so they will hit the vehicle. But if you practice it as a habit of driving, where all you care about is the the terror. Once you you make that habit to see the tires on that car. The way of that car, you see that there will be gap because you need some gap to be able to see the those tires. That's my driving habit. That's how I drive. Then if I'm on highway, man, come on, it's not even the tire. You need to stay like two cars or so before me. Even if I want to overtake you, I have to give you that gap. I'm explaining. Once you start to apply this thing, you say there won't be any need self to even get this close to be looking at to put your life in danger just because you want, you want to see everything before your car. I want to prevent hitting another vehicle. You know? So the most other thing adopts uh, the the this way I drive. That's my, nobody taught me this. I just figured it out on my own. I've been working for me for years. How many decades now have I been driving? I've been working for me for years. So all you need to do, adopt it to work for you. Give it a try. If it doesn't work, go back to what you do. But try it first. Give it that guy. Make sure you give that guy. Yeah, I know in traffic situation, people will blow it on. So I'm, I've caused so many abuses, insults, and the right people will say, Hey, this guy doesn't know how to drive. Look at it. I give it too much gap. Hey, come on, close the gap. I'm, I'm, my, you know, now I know me now. I'm always, my AC is always on Windows off, music blasting. So <laughs> I will even know what you're saying. Yeah, I could be hearing a little bit part of it, but man, I'm busy enjoying myself. So when it's time for the traffic lights allows us to go, I will engage the gear and keep moving. So we, so the world behind, we angrily drive here, try to warn me. Hey, hey, don't know how to drive. Go and learn how to drive. Well, you just need to. It's very easy. Look at the car, the person who is telling you, hey, don't know how to drive. Come on, get out of the road. Yeah, yeah. Look at the very person's vehicle. It has been smashed out, prohibited out of shape with all kinds of body filler, the different color of paint on the body. Look at yours, stay intact. If not for anything, that should be the only consolation. Never give in to stupidity. You know. Relax. That's how I drive. Because with that, you know, some people don't like uh, driving uh, because of all these kind of things. I enjoy it. I enjoy driving because it's a relaxed thing. Uh, you relax, put your seat back, do everything, put on the music, blast and you go in your way. You feel like sometimes uh, getting to a destination, like, oh, I wish you stay far. So I will still keep enjoying the moments. <sighs> so uh, I just want to point this out, you know, uh, makes sense. Sounds like concern, but hey, you know, um, out of this, uh, whoever, how many people that watch this video, only few persons that will adopt this. The rest will still continue what they are doing or find a way to rationalize why I'm wrong and they are right. Hey! Like I said, it's your life, it's your health. Look at it, go and kill yourself, mess up your heart. That's your problem. Or your chest, that's your problem. If you have a woman who's driving, your wife, your sister, your mother, or this, share this video to them, let them learn. Let them actually see how dangerous it is because some, that they are the most victims or the most perpetrators, I would call it that, way, of this. It's a very, very bad driving habit, sitting position in a vehicle, very bad. Um, you may not understand this, thing. like I said, even when I was trying to educate those three women, I was teaching how to drive. I would tell them, tell them, shift the seat. See, that they, I, don't, I don't know what to call it, them teacher. They are so, they, they are too scared that they, they just want to see, come and be looking. Man, even those who have driven for years, you see that it's just how they learned how to drive or they just prefer driving that way. It's very dangerous. I mean, I'm glad. I'm just telling you the implication if something happens. Apart from the airbag, this steering wheel most times could shift back to an, an accident that happened in front of the car. Shift the engine, hit the engine, engine will go and hit the steering wheel. 
uh, rank, then that one will shift the CRM column back. And everything here will shift back. With everything, remember, in seconds, everything is happening in seconds. Is I remember everything here is meta. It's already the cover. This place is plastic. Everything is rot. Iron, strong iron. Meta. So it's not like it will bend and give you, or even when it touches your chest, it will not be that strong. It's pure iron. I strong this thing. So it will pierce through your chest, squeeze it, break everything on your body. It is probably what will not stop it will be your seat. If I thought the seat was so, so you are gone right there. Nothing to go and. Uh, it's not the day in the hospital. Save yourself. That's all I have to say. Bye. Right. So, to the next video.